Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. On this day, November 6th in 1863, Clement A. Boughton of the 12th Wisconsin Infantry wrote to friends at home recounting a Union soldier's life in occupied Natchez. In his letter, he described the headquarters of the Union Army, the great house known as Rosalie. The building is a fine residence of a southern planter, he wrote. I do not know where he is now, but there are some of the family in the upper parts of the house now. It is a large three-story building built of brick. The first floor is used for servants, kitchens, and the like. The second floor has four large rooms. One is used for the adjutant's office, one for a reception room to receive lady visitors who have business, one for a dining room, the other is a private institution. This is the headquarters of the post and brigade. I have to sit at my desk all day. Bowden had arrived in Natchez on July 16th and was probably at his desk at Rosalie on the 22nd of that month when a Mrs. Shields paid a call to General Thomas Ranson. Mrs. Shields made it clear to a sentry nearby that she was unwilling to walk under the Union flag so prominently displayed on the portico of Rosalie. Shields referred to the flag as a brag. Citing her use of the insulting language, Ransom subsequently evicted Mrs. Shields and her family from the city limits and confiscated her house and property. Two days later, however, after receiving an ample apology, Ransom rescinded his eviction notice and Mrs. Shields and her family were allowed to remain in Natchez. Today, Rosalie is the state shrine for the Mississippi Society of the Daughters of the American Revolution. Hello, I'm Julie Kendall. I'm the regent of the Natchez Chapter DAR. This is your Natchez History Minute.